Hello scientists. This video is on how Earth's atmosphere is heated. In this video, we'll talk about the three different types of heat transfer and how they relate to how the Earth is heated. The first step in how Earth's atmosphere is heated is through the process of radiation. Radiation occurs when light energy travels through space and into Earth's atmosphere as light. Let's take a look at how this happens. Light from the sun travels through space as waves. When it reaches Earth's atmosphere, it continues to travel as waves coming through the atmosphere and hitting Earth's surface. It is when it hits Earth's surface that it can be transformed into heat. So as it's traveling through the atmosphere, it is not warming air molecules. It has to get down to the ground to a surface in order to be absorbed and then can be transformed into heat. Let's go back to the top and fill in the blanks. Light energy travels through space and into Earth's atmosphere as waves. The second step in how the Earth's atmosphere is heated is through the process of conduction. Light waves are absorbed by Earth's surface and transformed into thermal energy or heat. Air molecules touching Earth's surface gain energy and transfer it to the other molecules that are touching them. Let's take a look at how this happens. First, we said that the light waves from the sun go through the atmosphere and are absorbed by Earth's surface. When they are absorbed, they are transformed into thermal energy or heat. The molecules that are touching the Earth's surface, like these right here, these gain thermal energy, energy by direct contact called conduction. So the Earth is passing, their surface is passing energy to these first layers of air molecules. As these air molecules start to vibrate, they pass their energy to the molecules that are just above those. These cause them to move a little bit more quickly. And as they move quickly, they pass their energy to the next layer of air molecules. This is how Earth's atmosphere gets heated at the surface of the Earth. So let's go back and fill in the blanks. Light waves are absorbed by Earth's surface and are tra transformed into thermal energy. which is another word for heat. Air molecules touching Earth's surface gain energy and transfer it to the other molecules that are touching them. This is how conduction heats the air in Earth's atmosphere at the surface. The third step in how Earth's atmosphere is heated is through the process of convection. The air touching the Earth's surface absorbs thermal energy and its molecules speed up and spread out. This causes them to be less dense and rise. Let's take a look at what that might look like. So here the Earth's atmosphere is being heated and the molecules start to spread out. 
and because they are spreading out, they become less dense and they rise. Let's fill in the blanks. The air touching the surface absorbs thermal energy and its molecules speed up and spread out. This causes them to be less dense and to rise. As the air moves away from the surface, the molecules lose thermal energy and their molecules get closer together. This makes them more dense and they fall back to the ground. Let's take a look at how that might happen. So as the less dense molecules are rising, they are further away from their heat source. Remember that the Earth, the surface, is the heat source. Just like if you were uh, near a campfire and took a couple steps back, you wouldn't feel uh, the heat as much. Well, that's kind of what's happening here. So as the molecules get further away from the Earth's surface, then they become closer together. They're losing their thermal energy because they are transferring it some to the molecules in the atmosphere and they are further away from the heat source. Because they are closer together, this makes them more dense and therefore they fall back to the ground. This process is called convection. It is also what causes wind. Let's make, or let's fill in the blanks. As air moves away from the surface, the molecules lose thermal energy and the molecules get closer together. This makes them more dense and they fall back to the ground. As we wrap up this lesson, I kind of point, I want to point out something that many of you might have thought when we first started this lesson. Many of you thought that the sun's rays heat the air molecules as they travel through space and into the Earth's atmosphere. This is not how the Earth's atmosphere gets heated. Many people think that it is, but it's not. Scientifically speaking, the sun produces light that travels in waves that is absorbed by the Earth's surface and then transformed into heat. So the light energy has to be absorbed by something. And what is it absorbed by? The Earth's surface. This is how the Earth begins to be heated.